Sydney Benner, and I've got another great yoga dance fusion workout. It's called Lift and Tone, and let's get it started. We're gonna start right in the center of our yoga mats. Gently bend your knees, tuck your pelvis under, bring your arms by your side, and gently roll your shoulders down and back. We're gonna take head circles to the right, just warming up our neck and our head. Here we go, around. And again, go around, just taking that whole body with you. Now lower all the way down, around, and really reach all the way back. Again, around. Let's do side two, so over to the left. Circle, keeping your knees bent. Again, circle around. Now let's take our entire body with us, around. All the way down and around to the back. One more time, around. Now we're gonna swing our hips right and left, reach the arms up, right, left. Right and left and back, down. Two, three, again, reach it. Up just to start getting that blood pumping and that heart working. Let's go, down. Two, we're gonna come right to the center of our mats. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest and look forward. Palms down, jump or step back, three push-ups. Go down and up. Down and lift. Go down, inhale to up dog. Curl the toes, downward facing dog. We're gonna inhale, lift the heels off the ground. Gently bend your knees, lift and lower. Let's take it faster. Up, bend, up, bend. Lift up, bend one more time. Up, bend. Now inhale, lift the heels off. Gently bend the knees. Jump or step the feet to the hands. Inhale, lift the chest and look forward. Inhale, lower, exhale, reach the arms up overhead, palms to heart center. Inhale, let's reach back up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest and look forward. Palms down, jump or step back, three push-ups. Go down and lift, down and up. Go down, inhale, roll to the tops of the feet, lift the chest, exhale, curl the toes. Down dog, reach up on your heels, bend your knees, lift up, now double time. Up, bend, stretch, up, bend, one more. Keep it up, up, bend. We're gonna lift up on the balls of our feet, gently bend your knees, jump or step your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift the chest, look forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead, palms to heart center. Set up for flow two, inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus pose, reaching through the heart. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest and look up. Palms down, jump or step back. Lower through your push up. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, curl the toes. Let's reach our left leg high to the sky. Bring your left knee to your left tricep. Left knee to right tricep. Left to right. Left to right. Reach the leg right back up. Shoot the foot through, place it between the hands. Angle the back leg, inhale up, warrior one. Pulse, pulse, you've got it. Now we're going right into warrior two. Reach that left arm forward and the right arm back. Keep pulsing that left leg, right over the left toes. Squeeze that core. Now reach your right arm to meet your left. For grounded warrior three, hovering over that left quad. Plant your palms, step the left foot back. Let's lower through our push up. Inhale, you lift the chest for an up dog. Exhale, curl the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Bring your right knee to your right tricep. Right knee to left tricep. Right to right, left, right, and left. Shoot the leg right back up. Place the foot between the hands. Angle the back foot. Inhale up, warrior one. Pulse four, three, two. Now warrior two, keep it pulsing. So you got that constant movement. Shoulders down and back. Let's take it to a grounded warrior three. Bringing that left arm in alignment with the right. Bringing your shoulders away from your ears. Hold. Plant the palms, step that right foot back. Lower through your push up. Inhale, lift the chest, up dog. Curl the toes, down dog. Reach that left leg back up. Bring your left knee to your left tricep. Left to right. Swing it, swing it. One more time, shoot that left leg back up. Place the foot between the hands. Angle your back leg. Inhale up, warrior one. Let's pulse down. Two, three, four. Really reaching through those fingertips. Now, warrior two, left arm front, right arm back. Continuing to keep the knee over the toe. 
Now, grounded warrior three. Shoot that right arm right in alignment with the left. Energy power through those fingertips. Plant the palms down. Step the left foot back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Curl the toes. Down dog, lengthening that right leg up. Bringing the right knee to the right tricep. Switching over to the left, right and left. Go right and left. Shoot the leg right back up. Plant the foot between the hands. Angle the back foot. Warrior one, pulses. Now warrior two. Keep it moving, keep it grooving. Shoulders down and back. We're gonna go right into a grounded warrior three. Let's do it. Bring the left arm in alignment with the right. Palms face each other. Energy through the core. Plant the palms down. Step the right foot back. Let's lower through our push up. Inhale, lift the chest up, dog. Curl the toes. Downward facing dog. We're gonna take releve. So you lift up and down. You're sculpting the calf muscles here. So lift and lower. Up. I want a full range of motion so you're not cutting off the length. You've got eight more. Eight. This is seven. Keep going. Go six. Keep squeezing that core. Five. Four more. Go four. You go three. This is two. Gently lift up on your feet. Bend your knees. Jump your feet all the way through. We're going to lay down on our backs. Gently roll down. We're gonna do some abdominals. So bring your legs to tabletop, knees in alignment with the hips, hands behind your head. We're gonna take bicycle crunches right and left. Right for two, left for two. So really opening the elbows out, lifting the chin off of your chest, keeping the shoulder blades lifted off of the floor. Now we're gonna do some singles on the one. Go right and left. Now. The goal, everybody, is to keep that lower back planted into the ground. So you've got to fire up those lower abdominals. If your lower back is down, lower the legs a little bit more for more of a challenge. Now double up. Right for two. Go left for two. Keep going. Right and to the left. You go right for two. I want those abs on fire. Now single counts. Right and left. Let's go right, left. Right and left, right and left. Just one more eight, just like this. Keep going, four. You go three, you go two, and one. Gently stretch the legs out, arms above the head for a moment. Plant the palms down on either side of the torso. Shoot the legs straight up. We're going into a first position, heels touch, toes fan open, scissor crosses, right and left. Now double time, you go right, and left, so this works the inner thighs. The lower back should be pressing into the ground. Keep it up right here. Cross and cross. One more eight. Remember, you want that spine long and the core engaged. We're gonna gently flex our toes back so the bottom of the feet should face the ceiling. Cross, so this is called a fifth position. You're going toe to heel, heel to toe. One more eight, just like this. For eight, seven, six, five, Four, now back to those pointed toes. I want those inner thighs on fire. Cross right and left, right and left. Keep going, right and left. Now flex your toes back. Cross it right, left, right. Just eight more, keep breathing. Close your eyes. You should visualize what you want those inner thighs to look like. The strength, this is four, three, two, and one. Gently bring your knees to your chest. Let's gently roll up. We're gonna get down onto all fours. Your knees are directly underneath your hips. Your palms are directly underneath your shoulders. You're gonna flex your right foot up. It's a 90 degree bend in the leg and a parallel flex foot. You pulse your leg up. So bottom of the foot faces the ceiling. Heels and toes should be in alignment. And you're not trying to take the bend out of your knee. You wanna keep it bent. Pulse, you perk that booty up, lift. Lift, keep squeezing. One more eight right here, then you'll get a little teeny tiny stretch for four. This is three. You go two and one. Stretch back, glutes to heels, arms lengthen in front of you. One more side, one more set. Back to that table pose. I want you to flex your left toes up, heel to the front, toes behind the heel. 90 degree bend in that knee. Here we go. On the one, pulse up. So working that booty. You've got it, come on, squeeze. 
And you want to make sure the head doesn't just drop down. There's a length in that neck. There's an openness within the chest, making sure the heart faces out. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six. You've got one more eight right here. We can do it. Come on. Reach eight, seven, six, five. This is four, three, two. Stretch back for me. Reach your arms in front of you. Take a moment here. Breathe. Come onto the palms of your hands. Gently bend your knees. You're on the balls of your feet. Let's press into our heels and lengthen our legs. You can open those feet a little bit wider than the mat so you have a deeper stretch as well. Walk your hands over to your right leg, nose to knee. Let's go back through the center. Bring our nose to our knee. Back through the center. Let's gently bend our knees, slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae, shoulders back. Roll them out to the back a little bit. You can roll them to the front a little bit and gently bring those feet together. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, bring your palms to heart center. You guys did it, another great workout of yoga dance fusion. Keep up the great work and I will see you next time. Hi guys, I'm Sydney Benner from Benefit, and I've created a yoga dance flow. And the foundations of it really are in yoga and the movement behind it is all dance. So we really do not stop moving. So the heart rate stays up the whole time. You get a really intense workout using your own body weight to sculpt, lengthen, and tone.